Georgia is looking to take advantage of the Florida Gators on field struggles and might be close to flipping one of their top commitments. In this video, we'll get the best UGA insider in the land on the show to talk about, well, Juju Lewis was in Athens and we're going to see if the dogs can flip the USC commitment. Georgia is looking to go the Juco route to fill a major need. And will the dogs be the next team to flip one from the Gators? All right, Georgia fans, before we get going, subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We got this thing growing. It's going to be a crazy ride to National Signing Day. We want you to be a part of it. Hit subscribe, please. Okay, let's bring on my guy, Rusty Mansell from Dogs HQ. Now, Rusty, we're going to get to the flip target here in a minute, but Julian Lewis He's the number one overall player, the number one overall quarterback in the 2026 class, and he's from Carrollton, Georgia, but he's committed to Lincoln Riley and USC. He did that back in August. What was mm. up with his visit to Athens this weekend? Is Georgia a threat? Yeah, Georgia is, but this is a long ways, obviously, from being yeah. over. Um, you know, this is the second time he's been to Georgia this, this football season. He spent the night, Saturday night, he got to have breakfast with Mike Bobo on Sunday morning, and... Georgia's obviously going to still recruit him and uh, just how talented he is. He came over and worked out for the staff last year. I think he had multiple camp visits at Georgia. So this is somebody they're very familiar with. Kirby Smart was at his school, it was the, what they call the Kirby Copter. He was there. He made the landing at Carrollton High School last January. It won't surprise me to see him land there again in January. So they're going to continue to recruit him. I think the best news for Georgia is this is the second visit since he's been committed. and This will not be the last. All right. Another interesting target that was on campus over the weekend is Juco defensive lineman Brian Taylor. Now, Rusty, we've talked a lot about Georgia's biggest remaining need being on the defensive line and how many spots are remaining and who they're after. But Brian Taylor from the Juco level really never factored into our conversation. So how do the numbers work out when it comes to fitting Taylor in this class? The one thing I've learned about covering a Kirby Smart recruiting class is not try to guess the numbers because the one person that knows the numbers is Kirby Smart. I'm pretty confident that Brian Taylor, if he were to call Georgia and say, I want to commit, he's going to get a spot in this class. Uh, I was told he measured in six foot four and a half, 272 pounds, Ooh. 33 and a half inch arm. And that kind of surprised some people there. And, uh, you know, Josh, we've said it before right here between me and you, there's only so many of those body types that can set the edge and rush the passer. And this is a Juco player is a little bit older than a high school kid. You got more game tape to evaluate. So, you know, you look at this coming in on official visit with his family. I think Georgia made a really good move here. We'll see over the next month. Got a couple more visits set up. But, you know, I'm, I'm pretty confident that if he wants to call Georgia and commit, he would have a spot. Yeah, big athletic body like that at the end of the cycle. We know there's a lot of value in that. Who is the biggest competition right now for Brian Taylor? I think Florida and Auburn are two schools you hear a lot about. You know, got these visits set up with those guys. So, I mean, this, does he end up in the SEC? Right now, I would say he's going to end up somewhere in the SEC. I think he's got a big visit to Florida that December the 8th weekend. Uh, so, we'll see how that thing goes and what we're hearing right after that. All right. Speaking of SEC recruiting battles, we got a classic shaping up with Nasir <laughs> Johnson. He's committed to UF, but he's from Dublin, Georgia. Everybody knows this. He committed to the Gators in the summer. George is doubling back down the stretch. Uh, he took an official visit to Georgia this weekend. What are you hearing coming out of that one? Well, we kind of watched that Kentucky game. He was in town. That was his mother's first time she'd ever been to Athens. So he brought his mom. They got to meet coaches you know, face to face. They sit down with them. And then at that point, they set up the official visit. Well, this time he comes back this past weekend with his mom and his grandparents. So extended family got a chance to see Athens and they let him know how big of a target he is for them. Uh, you know, the one thing I'm confident, I'm confident Georgia made a move here, but um, this is not like something that's going to happen right now. I think he's really taking his time with this deal uh, between these two schools and Josh, this could be one of those rare ones where we're sitting here 24 hours outside of this early signing day saying, is Najir, Nazir Johnson going to stick with, Florida, or is he going to flip to Georgia? I really think this one might go the distance. Do you think that he gets on camp? Do you think he returns to campus at either UF or Georgia before National Signing Day? I would imagine one of those schools is going to get him on somehow. Uh, you know, you look at Georgia, they don't have another home game. So then they, they're going to play in the SEC championship. So they're not going to have a lot of that. What's going to happen at that point, Josh, is the staffs are going to do their in-homes. Mm -hmm. You know, when when does Kirby Smart go in home? You know, when does Billy Napier go in home? 
those type of things. So I'm not sure how much about getting back on campus, but those staffs will be in his home uh, when his high school season's over. I think Dublin's still in the playoffs. So right. when you look at all that, the Georgia and Florida staff, if you're answering, asking me, they're going to be back in front of his parents and his family at some point in December. Right. Yep. In-home visits open up as soon as the season ends. All right, Rusty, thank you for dropping by the inside scoop. There's so much going on right now on the recruiting trail. It's going to be an exciting run to signing day. We appreciate you dropping by today. Appreciate it, Josh. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed that content, be sure to subscribe to the On3 Recruits channel. We have a new page dedicated only to recruiting. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now.